like to introduce to you, who came all the way down from up the road to talk to us and be part of our program today. The first person is Miss Amanda Ross. Miss Amanda Ross is currently serving as Miss Central Coast while she attends Stockton University studying occupational therapy. She is also an advocate of the Children's Miracle Network. And with her today is Krista Lamondo, and she is a young girl who is on the autism spectrum, who has faced many obstacles and has overcome these issues. Krista recently did a ribbon cutting for a Disney store in Times Square, New York. And she is ser currently serving as Miss Precious Gem Pink Sapphire. And I think that we'll ask Miss Amanda to come up and maybe say a couple words about what you think we're doing. Like, I feel like I'm coming through the bubbles. You are coming through the bubbles. <laughs> All right, hello everyone. I'm so glad to see so many people out here for such a wonderful cause today. Um, so a little background about why I'm even here today, um, other than the fact that I'm a local title holder just supporting my community. Um, I was 12 years old, so just a little bit older than what some of you guys are here today, uh, when I found out my younger brother was diagnosed with autism. Um, you know, being 12, I didn't really know what could I do to make a difference. How could I be able to promote change? How could I change the view of my own friends? And how was I going to teach people what my brother had? And it was a very scary thing for me because I take a lot of pride in being an older sister. Who here is an older sibling? Raise your hand. All right, okay. Even being a middle child, right? You're, you still have that responsibility of being an older sibling. Who here would do anything to protect and support their, their sibling? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of where I was at when my brother was diagnosed with autism. <laughs> Promote some conversation. Um, but. I just wanted to make sure that he was going to grow up in a world where one, he would be accepted, two, his challenges would not defeat or define him, and three, I just wanted to make sure that I could form a relationship with my brother that any other sibling would have. Um, so I found FACES somehow. My mom introduced FACES for autism. Um, it was a family support group that kind of helped us transition into this new roles that we were taking on. Um, with my brother's diagnosis and pretty much um, they started blowing bubbles for autism and two weeks after my brother's diagnosis which was in april i put together a quick little spiel presented it to my teachers and my principal and they let me take the whole school outside to blow bubbles and that's where it all started for me and i was only 12 years old so after today i hope you guys go home and you find your own little passion and you're able to be able to make a difference in some way even if it's blowing a bubble, just as simple as that. Um, and I'm, I don't know if we briefly talked about it, but the bubble is a symbol of hope. So I want you also to take home with you today and, and share this experience with your families. And every time you see a bubble, I want you to think of how wonderful it is and how freeing it is. And, and to be able to look up into that hope and bring that into your own life. And today also, I would challenge you to make a new friend, someone who is different from you because differences is what makes the world so interesting and so wonderful. And through my own experience and through my own my brother's ex experience with autism, I was able to meet some pretty incredible people that are standing behind me today. And I was able to meet, meet some incredible friends, right, Krista? Yeah. So me and Chris are actually, me and Chris are the same age. And uh, come on, Krista, come on up. So Krista, Krista has autism. Right? But we actually have so much in common, and we are the same age, and we actually found out um, when we were younger, we actually were in the same dance class together. And then, you know, we grew up, we went our own routes, and then I found faces, and here we are today together. And Krista is probably one of my best friends. So I encourage you to go and make a new best friend today, and I think that our differences are what makes us a dynamic duo. Um, it makes us kind of, you know, face the world head on. So that's what I challenge you to do today. Just go out and make a difference and know that you're never too young to start to do something in your community. So be, don't be you know, afraid to get out there and start speaking. And I want you to think of that, that how you felt when you had to support 
or you wanted to protect your sibling, I want you to think about that. And that's what I want you to do for all the individuals out there with autism. So, thank you guys. Thank I think you. maybe Crystal might be sleeping out of the next one. Good afternoon, my name is Krista Lamondo and I am 22 years old. I was diagnosed with autism when I was 13, currently in New Jersey, one out of 34 children will be diagnosed with autism. I have autism but I am like you. I like to watch TV, go to the movies, play baseball, and hang out with friends. I am also different than you. I don't always make eye contact when I should, and I don't always know when someone is serious or joking. I can't speak for everyone that has autism, but I am sure that most want what every typical person wants, to be accepted and to belong. Autism is just part of who we are. Remember in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Thank you. Thank you, girls. We have a school where every one of us in this building is different, and we should all accept each other for who we are. And people with autism, they should be great with autism, not despite their autism. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say one thing in order to to know about this, but blow bubbles for autism! Woo! Let's see some bubbles in the air, guys! Woo! 